Hi, it's Deanna, and tonight I want to show you something interesting. Now, I didn't even know I had it. I forgot completely that I had this. I had it for a couple of years, and I was going through some things tonight, and I found it. So this looks like a horn of plenty, and actually, this is really cool. This is EAPG glass, so this is early American pattern glass, otherwise known as early American press glass, and instead of it being real crystal like this, this was made and mass-produced. Um, by the thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, and it was made very, very inexpensively. And this was like more like depression glass also. So during the depression, about, oh my goodness, there was at least 20 to 100 American glass factories making inexpensive glass. And they made it and they churned it out by the millions. So because people could no longer afford the really fine crystal pieces. And so they made it look like crystal by pressing it into a mold. With patterns so this is uh interesting this is zipper cut glass i don't know if you can see the little jagged edges and it has a, like a, what appears to be a little star pattern over here i'm not an expert on glass but this piece is sensational and it's very very heavy so now what this uh function it served was believe it or not this went in a car so during the 20s or 30s this would be placed into a car and sometimes they had a pair of them and this piece right here would um, actually be hung onto like a hook in the car and they would put flowers in it. So it was a car vase. <laughs> so I thought that was really, really neat. So a lot of funeral cars used to have these. So they would uh, place fresh flowers in them for the families for their trip to the cemetery or the funeral parlor. And uh, this has a screw on silver top. Now, um, I'm a little... Um, like miffed about that why would it have a top on it if it was used as a vase so I'm also guessing that this could have held some cologne in it too and maybe served as an early air freshener as well for the 20s and 30s so they could have put scented oil in here or perfume and then um screwed on the top and then when the patron got into the car they could unscrew it to smell it and to let out the scent um, otherwise maybe this top served as a function so the water wouldn't spill out of it when it wasn't in use uh, for flowers. So I don't know for sure if you know, write it in the comments below. But look at this pattern and how beautiful it is. Although it's pressed glass and it's not crystal, it's really, really well made. Really, really well made. I mean, my guess it could be just before the stock market crashed that this was made. Um, so possibly from about, maybe it's not even depression era. It could be just pre-depression era. So, um, because it's a heavy pressed glass. Now, I noticed that depression glass is much lighter than this. So, this was um, probably an earlier version of the pressed glass, thus known as early American pressed glass. So, um, yeah, it's really, really cool. It's uh, unique. Now, a lot of people that collect antique or vintage cars, um, like, for example, if someone has like a 1920s car, they look for these old car vases to um, make their cars more authentic because they go missing. You see, I ended up having it, right? <laughs> so yeah, like a lot of people, like my dad used to um, collect classic cars and he had like a lot of muscle cars when I was a kid. He had um, a 1965 Corvette convertible, a 73 Corvette Stingray convertible. He had a 57 Bel Air, like a Chevy Bel Air convertible. He had a 60 something Mustang convertible. I mean, you should have seen the cars my dad had. My mom even had a 57 T-Bird convertible in mint condition. And the most unusual car that he had was um, a 1928 Hupmobile. And it was a truck from the 20s. And it had mohair inter interior. Like, it was amazing. And in the back, it had these hooks. And I always wondered what went, what would have attached those hooks. And it was one of these car vases. So it's too bad that I didn't uh, have one of these when my dad had that car. That would have been a lot of fun to see uh, what it looked like in the car. So, like, this is cool. Like, also, um, my dad had a Packard, a 1930-something Packard. And it had a spot for these little vases as well. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys all soon. So long.